Now for this month's tech tip, we're gonna talk briefly about soldering and just some of the things to keep in mind, just to give you some quick tips. First of all, you wanna make sure that you have the proper tools. Now you want an adjustable temperature soldering iron with a very small point on the end, so that way you can get into tight fit places and make sure that you're soldering only the place that you wanna do on your circuit board. Now if you go to the hardware store and get one of those big giant soldering guns, yeah, you're probably gonna damage a decoder or something, so you wanna stay away from that. Now, of course, we're gonna also make sure that we use a solder flux. Now, there are many types of different fluxes out there for things like pipe fitting, uh, model brass model building, and all those kind of things that you can use, but you're gonna damage the decoder because all of those type tend to have a higher acidic content. So when you purchase a flux, you wanna make sure that it's designed for work with small electronics, small printed circuit boards and things like that to make sure that the design of the flux is for the work that you're about to do. Now the other thing you wanna make sure is that you have a fine diameter solder that you can use. Now this can be rosin core or not, whatever, uh, leaded or lead free, either type is fine because the biggest key is make sure it's a small diameter because you can always add more solder to it but it's harder to take it away. You also want a good set of wire strippers and this little handy tool that you can hold the circuit board in place or a wire in place that was just homemade, just a small piece of, of scrap board here and a clothespin. So we're gonna take our printed circuit board here and we're gonna hold it in place. So we're gonna solder a couple wires to it so you can see how easy this really is. So first off, we're just gonna grab a wire off our table. Now, to strip the end of it, we're just gonna take our wire strippers and we're gonna set it to about the diameter of the wire. We're gonna cut the insulation. And then we're gonna peel it off with our hand. Now with this extra bit of wire, now this is a stranded wire, so we're gonna twist the ends together to make sure that there are no frayed or loose fragments sticking out. We're gonna take our flux, we're gonna put a small little dab here on the end. Now with our soldering iron, we're gonna take it, clean the tip. Now we're gonna put a little bit of solder on the end. And we're just gonna simply touch it to the wire. Now that wire is tinned. We can put our soldering iron away. Now let's do that again really quickly just to show you how quick and easy it is. We're going to strip the insulation off the end of the wire, twist the end to make sure there's no frayed segments, put a little bit of flux on the end, grab some solder, and simply touch it to the end. And now that wire is tinned. Now to solder this to our PCB, one thing we want to keep in mind is the length of the exposed wire. Now on the first wire that we tin, there's a little bit of an excessive length on the end. So the good news is, is we can trim that short so that we have just a little bit of wire exposed. We're going to go ahead and put a little solder flux here onto our joint. And what we can do is we can then take our wire and we're going to put it through the hole. So once that's in place, we can take our solder. And again, the solder is on the end of the tip and the flux will draw it off of the iron and into the joint. And now you have a good joint. You don't need to hold the soldering iron there for a long time. You just have to hold it there long enough. And you wanna make sure that the joint has a nice wetting. And what that is, is that the solder is flowed onto the circuit board and that it has also encompassed and soldered to the wire that you're going to do. Let's do another one. So we're gonna take this one here and this wire, this end of the wire has already been tinned. So all I'm gonna do is just trim the down a little bit. We're gonna put a little bit of flux on our joint. A little bit of solder on the end. And we're just going to make that connection. And now our wire is soldered. Now when you're doing this, again, it shouldn't take very long. You should only have to hold it onto the connection for a few seconds. 
Now for more soldering tips, we will be doing a more in-depth soldering class on our YouTube channel. So be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook page so you can be notified when this goes live. Also for immediate help, on our website at Soundtracks.com under the Manuals tab, you'll notice on the side there is a link to reference documents. And if you click on that, you'll see a document called Soundtracks Guide to Successful Soldering. And it will cover a lot of this in English terms so that that way you can translate this at home. It should only take a few seconds, so follow these tips for some good ideas and make sure your installation goes perfect.